Die volgende ene keer waarna ons wil, 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 wil kyk in vraag 1, het te doen met hierdie, figuur 1.6. Nou figuur 1.6 uh, is very important, let's have a look at, at this diagram here. Now, if you look at, uh, at this diagram, then you will see we've got, we've got a diagram here on top, and here we have a graph. Nou, as jy mooi kyk na hierdie, dan is het belangrijk dat jy dit hierdie hydrogram moes geidentificeer, de hydrogram hier. And here we've got our slope, and this is the river that represents this hydrogram that we've got here. Nou, kom ons kyk net gewoon naar die vraag wat hulle vir ons vraag is al. Refer to figure 1.6, uh, uh, which shows a river system and its flow hydrograph. The first question that they ask there is, what is a river system? Here we've got this, what is a river system? What's very important, it would be your river system, you must know, you must know what is a river system. Very easy, a river system will be the river river met all its takke. The river river met all its takke. The main river with all the tributaries. Very important that you that jy daar die story moes kon raak gesien het uh, vir hierdie story. Dan kom ons gaan gou aan na die, na, na die volgende vraag. State the lag time on the flow diagram. Nou hier het ons, 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 ons uh, 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 grafiek hier so. And if you would like to, you want to find out what's the lag time, you can just draw a dotted line there. En dan kan ons baie makkelijk sien, hier so, daar sê, dis our lag time. So our lag time would be round about uh, two and a half, nearly three uh, 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 hours would be our answer. So dis baie makkelijk hier so. Die volgende ene is een lang vraag hier. The proposed development of a new urban settlement along the stream would influence the flow characteristics of the stream. Write a single paragraph, no longer than 12 lines, Describing with reasons how the proposed urban develop along with the stream will change the lag time and the flood peak here. Nou kom ons kyk gom. Hier het ons ons vloeidiagram hier so. En wat, wat die mense nou eindelijk vir ons vraag hier so is die volgende. Indien ons nou gaan kry dat hier een stad gebouw word. Hoe gaan hierdie ding hier? Hoe gaan hierdie ding verander en dien ons bijvoorbeeld kry, dat ons hier uh, stedelike nedersettings bijvoorbeeld langs die rivier gaan kry. Nou, what's very, very important, and what you, what you must remember, is that when you have an urban settlement here, the first thing that is going to happen, is that you are going to have, that your vegetation is going to be removed. And that's very important, because if your vegetation is being removed, it's going to have a huge influence on the water, on the drainage of this, of the, this region here. Nou, kom ons kyk net gauw wat gaan gebeur. Want wat nou gaan gebeur is, wanneer ons kry dat hierdie uh, 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 um, natuurlijke prantengroei hier verweider word, en een stad dan hier gebouw gaan word, gaan twee dinge gebeur. The first thing that is going to happen, is that your lag time is going to be shorter. Dat gaan baie minder wees. En wat ook gaan gebeur is, omdat jy meer water het, betekent het dat die piek gaan vroer en hoer wees. En dit betekent dat dit is hoe hierdie hydrogram nou uiteindelijk daarna gaan uitsien. Dat ons gaan kry, dat hierdie hele story met hierdie, hierdie, uh, 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 um, sal ek nou maar sê, menselike dinge wat hier gebouw is, hier so, wat hierdie mens aangebring is, gaan die natuur daaronder leid. En ons gaan kry, dat what's going to happen, your lag time is going to be earlier, daar sy, hy gaan vroer word, hier naartoe, want jou water gaan meer wees, baie belangrik, en, jou piek van jou grafiek, gaan hoer wees. Now that means, that you've got huge, huge problems, when it comes to flooding. Because the flooded water, is going to reach the people, much quicker, and there's going to be much more water, available to do the flooding. Het belangrik is hier so, is dat eerstens die vloedwaters gaan baie makkelijker en vinniger die mense bereik, en die tweede ene is dat meer vloedwater gaan die mense gebring, omdat 
ons gekry het, dat jou piek hier groter is, en omdat daar nou die, 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 die plant, natuurlijk planten groei weg is, gaan hier die water baie vinniger beweeg. Dit brengt volgens aan die einde, aan ons heel eerste gedeelte van, van, van ons uh, hersiening. Ons gaan in ons volgende uh, 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 um, sessie net hierna, gaan ons kyk na nog een paar vragen aan hierdie metriek examen. In our previous broadcast, we, uh, time has caught up a little with us, and um, I would like to, before I carry on with section B, I would just like to discuss one very important question with you in the um, question paper. That is uh, question 2.4 regarding stream, uh, stream piracy, uh, stroomroof. Now, stroomroof is a moeilijke begrip. Stroomroof, baie keer kree dat mense verstaan nie eindelijk wat plaas vind by stroomroof nie. En daarom wil ek soma vir julle verwees na ons skyfie wat ons het hier van stroomroof. En wanneer, voordat jy die vraag kan beantwoord, moet jy hierdie dinge in verband met stroomroof kan raak sien? The first thing that you've got to see is that we've got two rivers, the river B flowing in that direction, and this is the river A flowing in this direction. Uh, we've got a watershed, daar is ons waterscheiden, and we've got two green blocks here. Hierdie twee groen blokkies, um, dit verteenwoordig um, nedersettings wat hier is. We've got two green, uh, uh, green blocks here, and... Um, We've got two settlements, they, they represent two settlements in, in, in this diagram. So kom ons kyk net gauw wat gebeur hier by, by stroomroof. Let's see how this process happens, because you won't be able to answer this question before you don't understand the process. So kom ons kyk wat gebeur. As ons kyk na, ek wil hem het mooi kyk na wat plaas vind hier by rivier A in this region. See what happens. Wat gebeur is dat rivier A is bezig om terugwaarts te kerf. We call that headward erosion. Headward erosion is taking place. Hy kerf terugwaars, totdat hy later aan heel te maal hier by rivier B uitkom. He's completely joining up with river B. Now, what happens then, is that that part has uh, completely disappears. And wat ons nou kry, is dat hierdie rivier, wat oorspronkelijk in die richting gevloeid het, vloeid nou in hierdie richting. So this river initially flowed in that direction. Now, after capture, this river is flowing in this direction. Now, kom ons kyk nou na die bewijse van stroomroof wat ons hier kan plaas vind. Dis baie belangrik dat jylle dit moet weet. The first one will be the elbow of, of capture. The elbow of capture. Baie, baie belangrik. Die roof elmboog. Die roof elmboog is die precieze plek waar die stroomroof plaas gevind het. That's the place where the capture, uh, uh, the river capture has, has, has taken place. Die tweede enige, die roverstroom, the capte stream. Nou, kom ons kyk net gewoon weer vinnig hier. Roverstroom. Remember, if we, if we, this, the other word for river capture is called river piracy. In other words, rivers are stealing, one river is stealing something from another river. And the only thing that this river can steal, actually, I don't use the word steal in the exams, is water. And now, sal ons nou maar sê, in aanhaling steel hier die rivier, uh, hier die water, en hy is die roverstroom. Dis nou die ou wat die water nou het eindelijk uh, van die aanjene geroof het. Die ander belangrike ding is die verarmde stroom, the misfit stream. Dit is nou die stroom wat geroof is. Dit is jou uh, verarmde stroom. And the last one would be the wind gap. The wind gap. The wind gap, uh, the wind saw. Uh, the wind gap would be the dry area uh, between the two rivers. That is die droge late gebied tussen hierdie twee uh, riviere. So dit is die proces van stroomroof. Matrix, as jy nie dit verstaan nie, dan ga jy nie stroomroof verstaan nie. Dan sy nie hierdie vraag stel, uh, die vraag uh, kan beantwoord nie. Onthou, stroomroof is een baie populaire vra uh, vraag. As jy kyk na die vraag wat hulle gevraag het in die, in, die, in, die, in die examen, en nog aan die ou vraag stel hulle uitwerk, dan sy jy achterkom dat basis diezelfde ding word oor en oor gevraag. Dit is net een ander diagram. Ek moet net vaststel, maar hoe vind hier die roof nou het eindelijk plaas? Kom ons gaan verder hierso. What's very important is that we must know the impact of the river capture on your settlements. Nou, as ons die ou nedersetting jy daar sien, dan moet jy iets raak sien. Hier die ou sy water was geroof gewees. Met ander woorde, dit is die stroom waar jy minder water gaan kry. So let's have a, what impact will they have on this, on this settlement? You'll have a water shortage, uh, shortage, 
die boerderij gaan benadeel word, uh, there's no water for irrigation, geen besproeiingswater of min besproeiingswater. Wat als er hier een visvangsgebied wa was, your fishing will be affected. Uh, ontspanning wordt benadeel. Denk bijvoorbeeld mensen wat bijvoorbeeld met, met kanoes hier op die rivier ontspan het en, en, en als op volgende van die roof is dan minder water, so je ontspanning wordt benadeel. And then of course, uh, the generation of electricity is affected because there's less uh, uh, electricity, it's very difficult to generate, especially hydro uh, uh, electricity in, 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 in this region of this river. And if there's a dam, even, even worse, the dam, the dam can, can run dry. Now, Nou, kom ons kijk nou, hier is nog een nederzetting. Nou, die verskil tussen die nederzetting daar en hier ou hier, is hier het ons meer water. Hier ou het ons nou die ouse water van hom ontneem. So we've got more water flowing in that direction. So let us see what influence would this capture have on this uh, settlement here. Firstly, more flooding. Dat is meer water, so je kan verwacht dat er meer op vloed gaat wees. Dan, erosion. Dat is meer water, so daar gaan meer erosie wees. Fertile sediments are going to be deposited there. Soos hier die water, natuurlijk sy, sy banke oorstroom, kan jy kry dat vruchtbare grond, as gevolg van die rivier, omdat hier afkom, hy het meer grond, hy het meer water, en hy kan daar deponeer. Boerdere activiteiten neem toe. Why more farming activities? There's more water. Here we've got less farming activities because there's less water. Here we'll have more water. Then of course, it will have a positive impact on farming and it will have a positive impact on the economy. Now, dit mense is het te doen met, met, met die stroomroof. So, let's just have a, 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 a quick glance at, at, at the questions that they have asked here. Um, the first one, uh, they asked, uh, yeah, name two features of the river capture that could develop at X. Now, as you mooi kijk, dan lee X daar zo. X lee hier zo. En hulle vraag nou, wat kan, wat, wat kan daar gevormd word? Now, X, if we, if we can refer you to our slide here again, X would be about here, on the slide. So this means, the wind gap and the elbow of capture would develop in, the, in, in, in this uh, region. Uh, Kom ons kyk net goed weer, daar is X, en wat kan ons kry, wat kan daar gevorm word? Precies dit wat ons op die, op die skyfie gesien het, wat hier gevorm kan word, die roof Erlenboog en die windsaal kan in die omgeving uh, aangetref word. Uh, dan die, 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 die question 2.6.5, I would like to, 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 to read that question to you. Write a single paragraph, no more than 12 lines, uh, presenting a detailed report on how river capture influence human activities along the court and the Bergrevier respectively. Now, here we've got the Bergrevier and here we've got the Kortrevier. The Bergrevier in red and the Kortrevier here in black. Now, if you have a look at these two, the Bergrevier and the Kortrevier, obviously the Bergrevier here would be the one where we have more water. And the, the other one here by the Kortrevier, this will be the one where we'll have less water. And then, if you have a look at our, 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 our slide again here, then we will see that the influence where we have less water will be those ones, and the influence that we have more water will be this. So, it's very important, people, that you must know what river capture is. You must know the features of your river, river capture. Firstly, you must know how it, how our uh, uh, river capture occurs. Hoe dit plaas vind, baie, baie belangrik. Jy moet weet, wat is die kenmerke? You must know the features, the captive stream, the wind gap, the elbow, uh, die verarmde stroom. Jy moet allemaal hierdie goed ken. Jy moet weet waar hulle aangetref word. And then, very important, hoe beinvloed die stroomroof die menselijke activiteiten in die omgeving? And then you must look at, the stream that has less water, the stream that has more water, how will the activities, uh, uh, how will, will, will the, the capture influence the activities there?